I'm Jessica Shvintanovsky for The Rebel, and we are back out in London at the Old Bailey for day two of Tommy Robinson's contempt of court trial. So what we learned yesterday with the witnesses and Tommy taking the stand himself is that all the procedures put in place for restrictions on reporting all failed. It was not clear to Tommy when he spoke to somebody in person. It was not posted on the website on the, through the court system. It wasn't put on the screens and it wasn't put on the door. As well as we, we already knew from the last trial that his reporting outside that courtroom that day on the grooming gang didn't jeopardize the case. Everything he reported was already published and public on, for the, on the BBC. And we noticed a slight shift in the prosecutor's line of questioning and statements yesterday. It kind of started uh, with uh, questioning Tommy as if he knew that there were reporting restrictions. And then it shifted to, well, you should have known. Why didn't you know? And then finally, it doesn't really matter if you knew or not. It was there. So t we're, tr we're going to go back into court today. I'll be here with Ezra and Andrew Lawton as well. And we'll be tweeting live and doing some more coverage for you as soon as we get some information when we're back out in front of the old Bailey. For The Rebel, I'm Jessica Shventanevsky. To help independent journalism and help support the cost of our journey here in the UK and watch all our coverage here on Tommy Robinson's trial, make sure you visit realreporters.uk.